group of teenagers from Huddersfield have been crowned UK dance champions. They have scandalous. So all aged between 11 and 16 and they beat 10,000 other youngsters to the title. We've been to see them in action. These are the moves that led Scandalous to victory in the Teen Star UK contest. The 20 strong troops scooped the title in a competition that had 10,000 entrants, with this routine inspired by the Suicide Squad movie. It meant the world to every single one of us. It was I was so happy. Like when they said that we won, like everyone started crying. It was so fun. <laughs> They rehearsed for more than 10 hours a week in Huddersfield and this routine took them months to perfect. It's just a passion, like every day, like every time we dance, we just get better and better and that shows off when we're doing competitions. Well, after 10 hours of training a week, I get used to it. <laughs> yeah, we do it like a lot, a lot of training, but it's worth it when we win some of those biggest teen star. With this title under their belts, or should that be jumpsuits, could these youngsters make the leap to stardom? Watch this space. Abby Jayola, BBC Look North, Huddersfield. Wow. Yeah, what a performance. With us now the choreographers, Alicia and Michaela. And we've also got two of the dancers, Mia and Harrison. Mia, I, I want to ask first of all, how long does it take to work out such an intricate routine? Well, we give it, the dance teachers choreograph, um, make up the theme and the music, and then we get taught it. So it's just a process from being taught it to clean it, to get it up to the high standards to win such big titles. But, but looking at it, Harrison, it looks as, as much about gymnastics as about dancing. You're doing cartwheels, you're doing <laughs> somersaults, you're doing everything. I mean, it, it's remarkable, isn't it? Yeah, it is, re it is remarkable because we're all putting in so much hard work to get in the tricks as well as the street dance, which means that we're going to be like on top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you, you devised this, this routine. Tell us about the, the genre, theatrical dance. Yeah, so we dance. kind of go off a, a vibe of theatre street. So we've kind of combined the theatre motions of putting on a production with street dance, which, as you say, includes a lot of gymnastics nowadays that didn't used to have to be a part of the dance world. But now it's all about acro, wow factor, and what you can bring to the stage that's not been seen before. Do you find that uh, children coming through who want to get into dance, are they... Are are they more sort of engaged with this type of dance rather than your uh, syllabus, yeah, tap think, and ballet? I think nowadays, because they see a lot of it on TV already, on the likes of Britain's Got Talent, and they see diversity and stuff, they do, they're more inclined to learn that side of it, and then they see the tricks and they want to be thrown about in the air a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, we do get a lot more coming through that want to do that style rather than your standard syllabus work. I just wonder what, what comes next. if you've. If you're the champions of the UK, <laughs> what's the next competition you can go in? Uh, we'd like to obviously strive for the platform of Britain's Got Talent, yeah. which I think for most dance schools is how the platform works of getting yourself out there. But we feel like we stand a little bit outside of the box and we'd like to see what they give the feedback that they give us. And we'd also like to go for the Dance World Cup as a part of Team England. So fingers crossed that's kind of where we're going to head out next year or the end of this year. Well, yeah. I think we've seen you here getting get the prize. So, yeah. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent, is that the ultimate for dance troops today? I guess so, yeah. Because, uh, as you see, like, diversity and flawless and all them people, they've gone for, like, Britain's Got Talent and all them big comps, but Britain's Got Talent is on television and it's, it's like, presented to everyone so everyone can see it and people can pick and it up. And it's the ultimate, it's the yeah. ultimate yeah. challenge in yeah. here. It's getting your name well, out there as well, I think. It's the easiest way to get your name out now with the TV. It's so, and obviously the social media following and stuff. So since we won Teen Star, we, it, the social media side of it's just gone massive. And I think that's what Britain's Got Talent gives you. It gives you mm. the step of that. Mia, can you just sum up how it feels when you're doing this form of dance? <laughs> I think there is no better feeling like you put in all the hard work and it can be so tiring in the studio, especially when you're doing 10 hours a week and the long eight hour days. But I think when you get on that stage, there is no better feeling, especially dancing with like people that are family to you and you're so close and because you've gone through the training. So to reap the rewards of all the hard work, there is honestly being on that stage and when they announce names, there's no better feeling. Well, well we wish you all the very yeah. best and may you Thank well you very much. Much. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Well, Let us know how you get on. Hello to everyone back at the studio. All the kids are watching, so we just want to give them a quick hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hi everyone. Well done to everybody. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.